Alrighty guys, bringing another video today. This is going to be a review on my GoPro Hero 2 uh, camera and camcorder. And uh, if you don't know already, they do offer several different versions of this one. Um, this is the Hero 2. They have the original Hero. I think there's also one called the Hero HD, but this is the Hero 2. And they offer it uh, with a few different options out of the box. Um, I got mine as the Motorsports Edition, which comes with a suction uh, cup crane arm to mount it. So you can stick it to different uh, flat, smooth surfaces and then articulate an arm to get different angles off of it and everything. And then it also comes with uh, these little clip-on adhesive mounts. And this is the male end that will essentially clip into the female end of the the mount wherever you choose to uh, stick them and it comes with I think uh, four or five of those guys but uh, nonetheless I've had this camera now for about four months so it's is uh and I've had you know several chances to uh, use this I've used it oh maybe total hours of recording I've probably recorded oh 12 maybe 15 hours worth of content that I've uh, actually used or uploaded to YouTube and stuff like that or shared with friends and family and, uh, you know, it's really, it's performed very, very well. The Hero 2, it's very easy to navigate. They did add a screen to it and everything, so you can tell if you're in camera mode, video mode, time-lapse mode for pictures, all that fun stuff. And then the buttons on it as well in this enclosure work really well. Um, it's easy to navigate and use these buttons when the camera's inside the case and also when it's outside of the case. And there's just a little latch on the top that undoes it. And when the camera is inside of this case, it is nearly indestructible. Um... You can look up some videos here on YouTube that'll show it dropping from thousands of feet off of skydivers or off of people in uh, ultralight airplanes, um, having them fly off of uh, race cars or motorcycles at very high speeds. Personally, I use this to record footage of myself on my motorcycle um, and then also put it on some of my friends' uh, sports cars and stuff like that. But uh, I've had it up to a wind speed of about 140 miles an hour would be a safe estimate and it stayed on with the adhesive mounts. I have not tried the suction cup mount. I've only had the suction cup mount up to about 90 miles an hour, but it still seemed like it was pretty sturdy. I just, I personally don't trust the suction cup mount for that, uh, that fast of, uh, air movement over it. It does take up quite a bit of space and gets a lot of resistance on it once you get a high mile an hour wind going over the top of it. But the little adhesive mounts that it comes with, they've worked absolutely flawlessly. So no problems there. Moving into some of the other new things included on the sky is the external mic option. So unlike the first one, you do not have to take the case apart and cut and solder if you want to use an external microphone or get audio, um, you know, to move the audio or microphone location to somewhere else. So now you can simply just plug in a 3.5 millimeter uh, jacked lapel mic or some other type of microphone and record audio. So if you want to get your voice or have it close to your mouth to help kind of, you know, get the right tone and quality that you want as opposed to just having it pick it up from the built-in microphone, you can do that. Only drawback is that that 3.5 millimeter microphone jack is not powered. The GoPro camera does not send any of its battery to that, so the lapel mic or whatever you choose to use is going to have to be powered. And I can send you, a, or not send you a link, I'll, I'll drop a link down below uh, to the lapel mic that I picked up from Amazon. Amazon.com for about $20. That's worked great for this guy. Um, has a little clip on it so you can mount it wherever you want to and everything. So uh, more on that later maybe. But uh, moving on, you know, pretty standard stuff here. Give you a little rotate around. Um, yeah, really solid. Moving into, I guess, the only complaints I really have about this guy. One would be the fact that the microphone port is not powered on this guy. Two would be that the camera itself now is in a case. Uh, however, if you happen to scratch this lens cover on the case, you're going to need to have to buy a new one. And those guys, I believe, are around $40 US. Um, so that's kind of a disadvantage. It really does need like another snap-on cover for the lens cover itself just to prevent you, uh, if you drop it or nick it on something, um, you know, and, and damage this right here. Because if that gets any scratches on it, it's going to show up in the video quality. You're going to be able to see that real easy on the screen. Um, you can kind of think of this as the lens for it. And this is going to give also when you're recording kind of like a fishbowl effect on it. So it's going to be curved edges, uh, first person point of view, essentially, or POV. So, you know, other than that, it's, it's pretty solid. Um, it would have been nice too, I guess, if you didn't have to drill out the hole for the external microphone. If you want to use the case, they could have included two cases, one with the solid back on it. Uh, as you can see here, mine is known as a skeleton back. It has these little openings in it. This kind of helps to pick up audio uh, and voices and stuff like that a little bit better than a completely sealed one. So if they would have included 
one that's completely sealed and not drilled for an external microphone, and then one that has a drilled hole in it for the external mic and then the skeleton on the back. That would have been another great option that they could have done to make me a lot happier. Other than that, it works flawlessly. I've had no problems with it, no audio sync issues, no uh, no nothing with it. It's essentially worked perfectly for me for over the past four months and has put up with a, a decent amount of abuse. I mean, I haven't really... Uh, really punished it but you know i've thrown it around a little bit dropped it a few times and it still performs like it did the day i bought it so i guess if you guys have any additional comments or anything like that that you'd like to ask feel free to leave a comment below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can Till next time guys see you later